guys three cables three different guitars trying to play uh, relatively the similar things on each guitar and just basically to display uh, the tonal differences between the cables so I wasn't running any effects in this it was just cable from the guitar straight into the amplifier and I've to my ear anyway I hope it came across on camera that um, the Colossal had so much clarity even on the clean sounds I know that the Brooklyn is a, um, a high gain cable but it sounded beautiful for the cleans, particularly on the strap, made the neck pick up really bloom nicely when um, uh, sustained notes, and it sounded really good for the kind of funky uh, popping playing. And then uh, with humbucking guitars, it excels with the high gain, particularly on the diesel. Uh, everything's very defined, there's no muddiness or flubbiness, uh, all the uh, interesting adjectives that you can use to describe a guitar sound. There's plenty of sag, particularly on the low strings, and the, tr the tracking on it was fantastic. So, um, to summarise, you're still a little bit sceptical about um, guitar cables, I, I was as well. Uh, try and find a local guitar store near you that stock colossal cables, and um, try them out for yourself. Take your own cables into the store so you can AV test them to really hear how much of a difference they made. Um, I'd like to point out that I bought this with my own money, it wasn't given to me by Colossal. I'd, uh, went, I went to Guitar Guitar, tried it, tried my own cable, and I really like the sound of this, so what I'm going to try and do is eventually, they are pretty expensive, but I'm, they sound fantastic and they're really durable and very well built of really good materials. So I'm going to eventually rewire my rig with a uh, colossal cable, including the patch cables on my pedal board and the speaker cable between the diesel head and cab. So if you want to find out more information about colossal cable and where you can buy them, go to colossalcable.com.